Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jacqueline Lopez. We are on day eight of my Christmas series. I am doing a new Christmas video every day in the month of November. Today we are going to be doing a beautiful Christmas floral arrangement. Now this arrangement was loosely inspired by a $60 one that I saw at Michael's. I have seen the arrangements that have these like birch logs in the back and I wanted to recreate my own, but of course for much less. I'm going to remind you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time that i post a new video and let's just get into this diy for this diy i am going to be using a greenery pick this one comes with pine needles and some pine cones i'm also going to be needing a vase some dry floral foam of course these birch logs from hobby lobby and as a fun accent i'm going to be playing around with this ornament pick and this poinsettia pick I am starting off with this cement planter as a vase. Um, we are going to be adding our floral foam inside of it, trim it down to size so that it fits snugly inside of the vase. I do have to trim the sides of this one. It's not gonna go all the way down, but I trimmed just enough so that it would sit nicely on top. You want it to be nice and tight in here so that your florals, once you add them, they won't um, fall over. They need to be held in there nicely. Now that our floral foam is inside of our planter, we are going to move on to our greenery. I bought this one for 50% off from Hobby Lobby last year. I'm going to take it apart so that I have the individual pine needles on their own. Some of them did get separated as sets of two and others as just individual pieces as well as the pine cones. I'm going to start with the largest ones. These did have a clear front and back just because of how the glitter was on them. So I decided to add these two together. These were also going to be my highest and I was going to work around them. I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but when I do my arrangements, mentally in my mind, I divide it into quadrants and then I work off of that. I decide which area I want to have um, most of my accents so that is like the heavy part of my arrangement and then I balance it with a heavy part on the opposite side as well and again kind of divided into quadrants so that it all just balances and works together as one larger piece so little by little I am testing what works for example this poinsettia ended up being way too large for my arrangement so these smaller um, ornaments ended up being what would work best since the pine cone was on my left um, back quadrant, I'm adding the ornament in the front left quadrant. Again, I'm hoping that makes sense. Um, off of that, then I'll balance and I'll make sure to cover all of the sides, especially the bottom. I don't want you to be able to see the floral foam. Um, and I also don't want to have to add any moss because that'll make it look too much like spring or summer. So I'm making sure to arrange all of the pine needles so that it'll cover all of the bottom as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and trim these birch logs so that they are the exact size that I need them. Again, because we are using floral foam, I am going to cut them smaller so that they sit nicely on top of that. I ended up cutting mine at about eight inches and I only used one and a half of the logs so I'll have the rest to add to my main tree. I am testing out the size, making sure that I do like the way it looks. Now I'm going to be using some floral wire to add it on there. You can of course just use some hot glue and add it directly onto the foam. I am just inserting this trimmed piece of the floral wire and then just putting it straight through the floral foam as if it was one of the picks. Um, be gentle when you do that so that you don't push the floral pick further in to the log so that you are putting it actually through the foam. 
Now right now my left side is looking pretty heavy with the accents so now it's time to work on the left. I'm going to add these to the left back quadrant and I'm adding two to again add some of that balance since it's really heavy at the left bottom. Everything in this arrangement is wired so it is easy to manipulate all of these pieces so that they sit exactly where you need them to. Um, I do still however wish I would have added these a little bit earlier on um, because I was struggling because I didn't notice that some of the pine needles were getting in the way. Also make sure that you face the pretty side of the birch logs forward since they were a larger bundle. Um, they do have a clear front and back to them. Now I'm going to continue adding some of my picks and the accents, always keeping in mind the quadrants. So every single quadrant is going to have an accent or like a moment where it's the shining piece of the arrangement. Um, always, again, just keeping in mind what you're going to be able to see so that it all is balanced. I'm also going to be adding um, some of the picks to the background because even though they are in the back, they do come through from the front. And of course, I want my arrangement to be beautiful from every direction that you see it. I worry about the weather Waiting for snow And each day I feel better And my hope begins to grow Been staring out my window Looking for a sign Something to remind me of the place I left behind mm -hmm. My time of the year There's a feeling I remember From the time when I was young On the last days of December I know our folks would not forgive mm, My time of the year Oh, I know it's a lot to add I am done adding my greenery picks and all of my accents. I like to take a look at it so that I can make sure that it looks nice and full and purposeful in any direction or angle that i look at it i love the way that this turned out i think that it came out better than the inspiration piece because this fits my color scheme and it is catered to exactly what i wanted it to look like it was also very inexpensive to recreate I spent less than $10 on this and even at 50% the other one would have been $30 so I think that is still really good savings. I hope that you enjoyed this DIY. I'm going to go ahead and keep it here in my office and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already hit the notification bell so that you are notified every time that I post a new video. Again, I am doing a new Christmas video every day in November. Also, make sure that you like, comment, and share on this video. That really helps my channel to grow. Thank you again for taking time to watch my videos and you have a very good rest of your day. Bye-bye.